Yo, I knew something was going on. I looked at his phone and there it was, as bright as the fucking sun. He's been texting some guy named Dion. Shouldn't you be glad he's moving on? Um, no, we literally broke up less than two months ago and he's already talking to other guys. It's like he was just waiting for me to end our relationship so that he could start fucking around. Plus, I still haven't found a place to live yet and I kinda miss sleeping in the same bed as him. Have you seriously been looking though? Like, I feel like you've been spending most of your time trying to figure out if you want to be single or not. Even Chris said you've been walking around at work confused, making all types of mistakes and shit. Not all of us spend our days fixing other people's problems. We just make our own. Guys. I only fix grammar mistakes. Plus, I'm an assistant, so if anything gets fucked up, it doesn't fall back on me. <laughs> Look at you using your boss as a scapegoat. Uh -uh. I'm impressed. Guys! Brenda's pregnant. Brenda's pregnant? This is not a green tea shot. It's tequila. How long has she been pregnant? Jeez, two months. Are you serious? Well, I'm not fucking joking. She's been keeping it from me. You normally don't do that anyway. So, listen to this. I'm sitting on the couch, right? Brenda tells me that she doesn't want me to panic. I'm already thinking about all of the things that could have possibly gone wrong. Maybe someone hit the dog. Our electric bill could have tripled for the month. She could have lost her job. I'm shaking like a fucking leaf as she turns to me and says, I'm pregnant. She's pregnant. Pregnant? I was about to quit my job. I was about to move to New York and become the next Seinfeld. Do we really need another Jerry Seinfeld, though? My parents love that show. Anyway, so by this point, my head is spinning. I'm confused and thinking about when my life went off track. So you weren't thinking about when you forgot to wear a condom? We're married. We don't use condoms. Not trying to be mean, but Marcus and I use condoms, and it's physically impossible for us to have a baby. It's called safe sex, and guess what? It's only 98% effective. She was supposed to be on birth control. She told me that she missed the day. She knew I would be upset, so she kept it from me for a week. I've been coming home every day telling her about my dreams and my plans for the future, and she hid an entire baby from me for a fucking week. I know you're upset, but this is a baby with your wife we're talking about here. You both love each other, you're both financially stable. Things could be a lot worse. Yeah, but I wasn't ready to be a dad. I was ready to start doing comedy again. Damn, Brenda's got a baby. Say that again? <laughs> Brenda's got a baby. I heard Brenda's got a baby, but Brenda's barely got a brain. A damn shame, the girl can hardly spell her name. <laughs> Jesus, you two are the worst people to announce pregnancy to. I know somewhere deep down inside, you wanna hear this, so I'm gonna say it. Congratulations. You're gonna be a daddy. <laughs> I haven't called anyone daddy in over a month. Wait, you call Marcus daddy? <laughs> well, not anymore. It looks like Dion's gonna be calling him daddy now. Can you please stop saying daddy? He's got another thing coming if he thinks he's gonna fuck some other guy in our apartment while I'm around. I'll be damned. So you're having a baby and you're losing a daddy. <sighs> to our dysfunctional family. I'll drink to that. Now you just need to propose to mommy. <laughs> yeah, I'll cheers to that.